Hello everyone. In this INR number 78, we are going to discuss about another important PYQ, which is very often asked nowadays in exam. That is Hanok Schonlein Purpura, right? So what is Hanok Schonlein Purpura? It is uh, vasculitis, which will be involving the smaller blood vessel. So remember, this is a, a small vessel vasculitis. Right. So first we have to remember these are small vessel vasculitis and these are also known as anaphylactoid purpura. Right. So small vessel vasculitis also known as anaphylactoid purpura and this is the most common vasculitis in children. So remember it is not Kawasaki. What is most common vasculitis? What is most common vasculitis in children? It is the Hinoxonlin purpura. Right. And what is this? A small vessel vasculitis. Why this vasculitis will happen? Because of IgA immunoglobulin deposit into the vessel wall. Right. So remember, this is a very, very important and very sharp point that IgA will be having deposition within the vessel wall because from the vessel, it will go to the kidney, it will go to the abdomen, it will go to the other organs. So that is why this will be, you know, uh, consisting of tetrad of the finding, which we remember by a mnemonic called as GAP. Right. So GAP is the mnemonic to remember. So where G stands for glomerulonephritis and mostly it is IgA nephropathy. Right. A is for arthritis and abdominal pain, right? So that is A, arthritis, abdominal pain and palpable purpura. Remember, this is very, very important because usually when we study in hemat, purpura is because of platelet decrease, platelet count decrease. But here it is not because of that. It, here it is because of IgA deposits, right? So please remember this purpura is because of vasculitis caused by IgA deposits. Right? And it is not due to platelet count. This is very important PYQ. So these are the four important tetrad of the Hanakshanlin purpura. Glomerulonephritis, arthritis, abdominal pain and palpable pura, purpura. And they are commonly associated with IgA nephropathy. This is also very important. So you will find that some of the literature they will be selling that. They will be telling that Hanakshanlin purpura and IgA nephropathy both are spectrum of the same disorder right so that is what i wanted to show you glomerulonephritis in this you can see this is a mesangial and iga nephropathy they will have second thing is arthritis joint involvement will be there right then this baby will be having abdominal pain and fourth one is purpura and this purpura is because of iga deposit not because of the vas not because of the platelet count right so what should be the treatment so treatment will be corticosteroid in the form of prednisone and this will shorten the time and intensity of joint and abdominal pain. That is what you need to remember. That will shorten the joint and abdominal pain duration. So these are important points. Hinox Shalin Purpura, very important topic. You can expect questions from here in your NEET PG and FMG exam. So keep revising these topics from my INR and best wishes to all of you.